Welcome everyone, hoi chummers from all around the world. My name is McDougall and today I'm going to present you my first tutorial for the Shadowrun Returns editor. I was yeah, lucky enough to be one of those early backers that already got access, so I, uh, I also have to fight with a heck a lot of bugs, but you know, it's fun and so I want to share the awesome with you guys. So at first, yeah, what are we going to do today? We are trying to make a phone call today. So, I set up a very very basic map just so we have something somewhere to spawn our main character and to um, let the conversation take place. What you may notice is that here right at the upper right corner it's not very important if it's there or down below but um, very far off from the usual map I created a single tile a single floor tile and you will see what's that about um, well soon alright so at first let's create a new region because we want to have a camera region so that when someone has a camera and has set it to free move said he can't actually see that tile over there because it is only for us while creating the scene. So we have we call it camera region and set it is camera region to true. This will prevent us from scrolling outside of this region. So the next thing we want to do is to set up who we want to call. So we need the character spawner. It has to be yeah active spawner I meant, there it is. We're gonna drag it out right over here, select it and then set that guy up. So I want to um, have a talk with my buddy the elf male slick. Just have to find him, he's no backer. Elf male slick, yeah, because slick is a nice guy. Looks like a decent enough guy, right? I'm selecting as prefab, so core F male. Um, we won't actually see him in the scene. I'm just selecting a prefab so the game doesn't say, hey man, why does this guy have no prefab? He has to have a prefab or won't load the scene, yo. Alright, so that's why I did that. Now we can make the conversation. We we'll call it phone call because it's easiest. So we click on the bubble so we can start the uh, dialogue as usual. This is going to be type GM voice because we want to have the phone tell us who we um, ask us who we want to call it first. So this is welcome to the Renraku phone service. Please select the contact to call. We'll just assume that we don't need any anything else. We could now we could set up um, an item so that we have to have a cred stick or something like that to be even able to call that. But I think other tutorials already mentioned how to set up those, so I won't cover it. Now we are here. We want to call Slick. This is the red line. The red line is always what the character says. So we we'll make a new bubble because now we have Slick on the phone. So as speaker in scene, we select not owner, but Slick. We set him right in this corner, so we would be able to select him as a character. You will see what this is all about soon. And at first I tried to not let him spawn at map start, but if you do that, you can still select him, but you won't see his portrait. Oi, Chummer. What's up, man? So, of course, you want to answer him. Just biz, chum. Wanted to give you a call. Now about this job. Alright, so it should be enough for us. Of course, save the conversation. Afterwards. Now we really have to set it up. We have the conversation, we have the guy we want to call, 
Now we need a phone. So we go to the asset library, filter it with the word phone, and drag the payphone right into our scene. Uh, it's good enough. All right. Go to properties. Select the properties interactions by clicking on this hammer. Go for generic interaction. Matrix icon. Hmm, I'm going for generic. Oh no, gen not generic interaction. Conversation. That's the thing we want to do. So, conversation ID. Select the conversation. Generic conversations. Phone call. Alright. Now, if the game engine doesn't think I'm or doesn't want to be funny, this should all work out. We're going to hire our main character because it's the easiest way to do it. At least if you want to do it fast. And now we can. All right, guys. So here we are again. As I yeah, as I was told, um, the game engine wasn't recorded by Fraps, so I. Now I'm making a new video and smashing the, bo uh, the two of them together, you know? So, it loaded, we can click on continue. And here's our scene. No, we don't want to load anything. It was just because it was pressing the F9 button to start recording. So, as you can see here, we have our character. I just took our C because, because I can. Then when we try to see that guy that's standing right up there, we can see him because we set up the camera region. So we see our button here so we can interact with the prop. Welcome to the Renrock phone service. Please select a contact to call. Of course we want to call Slick. And because that guy is standing right on top there, we can see his portrait. Slick. Oi Chama, what's up man? Just this chum wanted to give you a call. Now about this job. Alright guys, seems like everything worked perfectly fine. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe and go to shadowrun.com, the forum, the wiki and so on and have fun.